Christopher Kit Bond was born in 1939 in St. Louis to Arthur D. and Elizabeth Bond. He graduated from Deerfield Academy in 1956 and Princeton University in 1960. Senator Bond went on to the University of Virginia School of Law, where he graduated in 1963. In 1963 and 1964, Bond served as a law clerk and then chief judge on the United States Court of Appeals in Atlanta, Georgia. From 1964 to 1967, he practiced law in Washington, D.C. He moved back to his hometown of Mexico in the fall of 1967 and ran for Congress in 1968, but lost. State Attorney General John Danforth hired him as an Assistant Attorney General in 1969, where Bond led the office's Consumer Protection Division. In 1970, at the age of 31, Kit Bond was elected Missouri State Auditor. He was elected as Missouri's governor in 1972, and at 33 years of age, he was the youngest governor in the history of Missouri. In 1975, at the first Missouri Education Conference for Decision Makers on Voices for Children, research evidence was presented on the effectiveness of early childhood intervention. Governor Bond was decidedly influenced by what he heard. In 1976, in a surprising upset, Bond was narrowly defeated for re-election by Joseph Teasdale. But in 1980, he made a successful comeback in his run for the office of governor. One of Bond's greatest accomplishments as governor was taking the Parents as Teachers pilot program statewide, a program that was designed to help parents prepare their children for the classroom and help them be successful in school. As a young father, Bond saw how important the program was for his own son, Sam. As a parent looking for an owner's manual to care for a new baby, Governor Bond said, parents as teachers was my lifeline. In 1984, as governor, Bond signed a bill requiring all Missouri school districts to provide parents as teachers services. This program has been immensely successful and helpful to parents all across Missouri serving three million children in the state. Today, the Parents as Teachers program includes 3,000 programs and has expanded to all 50 states and seven countries. Former Executive Director Sue Steppleton says while many people helped get Parents as Teachers off the ground, Bond's role was pivotal. Without Kit Bond as governor, I'm not sure the legislation would have passed at the time that it did. He was the one to really push it over the goalpost. After he won his first term to the U.S. Senate in 1986, Steppleton says Senator Bond continued to help parents as teachers on a national level. Based on his solid ability to protect and advance Missouri's interests in the United States Senate in his first term, Bond was returned by Missouri voters to the U.S. Senate in 1992, 1998, and 2004. Bond also served as a member of the Senate Appropriations Committee over the years. Senator Bond also served on the Subcommittee on Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration and related agencies, the Subcommittee on Defense, and many others. Senator Bond built a reputation as a strong backer of literacy programs and worked to make high-quality health care more accessible for women and children. A strong supporter of the U.S. military, Bond also served on the Senate Select Intelligence Committee. He was the chairman of the Appropriations Subcommittee that funds the nation's housing and veterans' needs. Senator Bond's son, Sam, is an officer in the United States Marine Corps. Facing the expiration of his fourth full term, Bond announced that he did not plan to seek a fifth term and would not run for re-election in 2010. Senator Bond said in an interview, in 1973, I became Missouri's youngest governor. I do not aspire to become Missouri's oldest senator. After leaving office in January of 2011, Senator Bond joined the law firm of Thompson Coburn. He also formally launched his own firm, Kit Bond Strategies. In 2002, he married his wife, Linda. 
Upon his retirement, Senator Bond addressed Congress. Nearly 24 years ago, I was sworn in as U.S. Senator. Since that time, I have been honored to work with you and others on all the priorities facing our country and many more. Public service has been a blessing and a labor of love for me. Little in life could be more fulfilling. Senator Bond's final words to Congress are applicable to all who help educate today's children. As he said to his fellow senators, work together, play nice. He is a pioneer. <laughs>